You so-called Christians believe in hell, right? Y'all believe you go to hell after you die and you burn for eternity. And you got to meet a dude with red pantyhose on jumping around like Q-Bert with a pitchfork, man. Where's the love in that? God obviously don't love whoever he sent to hell, right? Or is that love that he sent him to hell? <laughs> it don't make your own, your own wine, your own belief don't make no damn sense. Come on, no, see anything. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. No way, I. First of all, God loved everybody. And everybody is equal, right? We all God's children. We all God's children. Read that again, brother. Uh -huh. Amos 3 and 1, hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. Everybody. O children of Israel. The whole world. O children of Israel. The children of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Hear the word that the Lord has spoken against you. And let's see if it was out of, let's see what, where we get the love out of here. Go ahead, I. Right? Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Right. Out of the house of bondage. Go ahead, bro. That's right, bro. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Wait. He only knew Israel? Out of all the families of the earth? Well, what happened to God so loved the world? We got a problem. Got a problem. Something can't be right. Either the Heavenly Father is contradicting itself, or you know what's right. Well, let's take a let's take a shot in the dark and let's let's weigh that out. Hmm. Okay, why well, God let us suffer so long? And we going into it right now. This is the reason why. Go start back from the top, all right? It's about to Amos three and one. Hear this word the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. Right. Because we, we, we transgressed. We went off. We didn't keep the law. We come out of Egypt. Shit, what did our people do? They built the calf. They start worshiping idols off the bat. After they just witnessed the most high hey, part to see something that had never been done before. They just witnessed it. So you're saying the blood of Christ is not real. No, the new blood of Christ is real. Because the New Testament is talking about the atonement of Christ. For who? For who? For who? For who? For who? Get Amen. Romans 9 and 1. Let's see. Let's see if what you're saying is true. real quick, bro. I'm going to bring this out real quick, okay. bro. This is Psalm 785. For he established a testimony in Jacob That's right. and appointed a law in Israel which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, even the children who should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. That's it. That they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. And not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, Ooh. a generation that set not their heart aright, and whose spirit was not steadfast with God. Now that's why we still being punished, because we was hard-headed and stiff-necked. So you're saying the blood of Christ is no good for us? Yeah, it is. The Lord is gonna come back and redeem His people. He's telling you why He had. But this is blood. why we right. Why His blood had to be spilled. Yeah, for the Old Testament, it's not we under grace. Yeah, we under grace. That don't give you the liberty to go and do whatever you want to do. Right? Right. You still keep the law. The blood was for redemption, reconciliation. So what then? Shall we not keep the law because we're under grace? God forbid. That's okay, what the scriptures well, say. If the teachings of Paul is true, Paul talks about his brain. 
What did he say? Okay, he said, okay. Well, when I will to do good, I find myself doing evil. Right. right. And then when I do uh, evil, I find myself, you know, you know, the yeah. there, right? So what I'm saying, the atonement, that's what uh, the ultimate supreme sacrifice was. For who? Moses didn't do it. For who? People have thought whoever, according to Romans 10, 9 and 10, yeah, right? Yeah, that's whoever, who, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. So you're saying, Bring it out, bro. because I'm a Christian, the Bible's not true. No, no, no. The Bible is true. But what you're saying ain't, ain't correct. Oh, no, I'm talking about, he's saying that we are still tucked in punished. That's right. right. Right, for something in the Old Testament. That's yeah. right. Right? But we, we're in the New Testament. Right. Right? Let me ask you a question. Just yeah, right. We're still under the law. We're still under the law. But we also under the grace, too, because the Bible says That's right. we are not yeah, saved. We are saved by grace through faith. It's not by works that we are saved. But show me, go ahead, brother. But show me faith without works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's out of context now. Well, you gotta no, no, out of context. You gotta have yeah. both. We're talking about saving grace now. Yes, uh, hold on, I'm gonna get it real quick. I'm gonna get James for you. Let's see what James says. This is James. the brother get next just real quick this is Romans 6 and 15 what then shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace God forbid Romans 3 and 31 do we make God the law through faith God forbid yay we establish the law read that again do we make God the law through faith God forbid. Right. So Yay, we established the law. We established the law. So you got to keep the law to the best of your ability. Right. Right. And I, I agree with you. Okay. Right. Read that for me one but more it's time. Not by works that we are saved. Though. Okay. It's by grace through faith through Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, but it's both, right. though, bro. So God knows that we, we're going to fall short. Right. right. He right. knows. That's why the blood was shed. Okay. All right. Well, then. Let me ask you. To redeem us from the, to redeem You're right. Us. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. Then why are we still from in, the curse of the why are we still in captivity? To redeem us from the power of God. Why are we still in captivity? You answer the question better than I can. I'm, I'm asking you, because you asked me that. Even with myself, I'm not in captivity. Yeah, you I'm are. I'm from the darkness within my soul. What you got, brother? Because I got that. You can get captivity in your okay. mind, in your way of thinking. But if your thinking don't change your behavior, so you free? You say? So you got to redirect your thinking. I'm asking you a question. Are you saying? Yeah, I'm saying. Then what the Lord need to come back for? Jesus, then Jesus, what do you need to come back for? Right. Because according to the Bible, I'm not believing the Holy Bible. Okay, that's good. Word, right. we're, talking like we're, we're talking like men. We're not offended. We're talking like men. I'm just saying. We're talking like men, bro. What do the Lord need to come back for if you already say? Because the scripture, he's in the scripture what you should come back for. He's coming back for his church. To do what to him? To, to redeem them from, from right. the to, to, to save them from it. Right. But, oh. but you already said you said it. Okay, but I'm saying, now, you, now you're taking scripture. No, I ain't not. I'm asking you a question. Or you say, you like said that, yes. Are you saying? Yes, I'm saved according to the scripture. Okay, then what the Lord needs to come back to for? Because the Bible said it. Nobody, 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 nobody saying. Let's just like, let's tell you like this, brother. It's, it's like, like, it's like, you, yeah, it's like you going to court, right? Now he's going to judge, nobody. right? Oh, but no. Jesus is my, Jesus is my advocate. Say, he's going to judge. My you, can't, right? you can't, you don't know Jesus, Jesus is my advocate. Right? He got a hope just Jesus. like we do. Jesus, right. Jesus is my advocate. Right. If you Jesus. already knew, that's fair. Like you said, what's the heaven hope okay, you already Jesus. know? Okay, call this no more hope. Jesus is my divine high priest. If you know you say, if right. our people knew they was already, whoever's going to be saved, so you're saying that if we they have already to, knew so that they were saved, 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 they'll be, saved. be doing anything we every have to day. We to be saved. Hey, say, we got go to ahead and be wicked then. Right. Right. No, I'm saying. not saying they're wicked. That's brother. all we're saying. No, no, I'm not saying that. That's what we're saying. That's out of character. I'm not saying it. Okay. I'm not saying but let me tell you the character of our people. I'm not saying you The character of our people is, if they knew they were saved, whoever's going to be saved. If they knew that they was going to be saved, they'd be doing it and everything, man. 
because that's the character of our people. Look what they did when they came out of Egypt. There was a scripture in Matthew 11 and 28 when he said, when Jesus said, come unto me, all who are laboring and heavenly bound, and I shall give you rest. That's an invitation to salvation. 29 saying, take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for my yoke is easy to and my burden is light. That's an invitation to fellowship and discipleship. Salvation has nothing to do with healing captivity. Have nothing to do with what? No, I'm saying... There's an invitation to salvation, and there's an invitation to, uh, to discipleship and fellowship. So, what they got to do with? No, okay. Now you debate. Yes, we debate. We debate. I don't we debate in the scripture. I don't, get the don't the scripture say debate that cause? Right. That's yeah. the scripture. That's say. in the scripture. The scripture say debate that cause. So you just want to come up here and talk out your heart and tell us what you think? I mean, you, you, you. We read that scripture. I'm in the public and I'm listening, right? No, you're not listening because you're doing more talking than you are listening. Brother, I've been up here 30 minutes and you've been doing all the talking. That's because this is. So I don't have no open door. Hold on, hold on, hold on, black man. I don't have a right to ask a question. You can ask whatever you wanted to, bro. Yes, you gotta read that. But, but you gotta listen to the answer. Right, you ain't you ain't listening so to the answer, bro. You receive your answer, you wouldn't receive mine. You ain't that how conversation we, we, works? We're coming out of scripture. Ain't we're coming out of the scripture. Debate, you're bro. coming out of your heart. No, I'm not coming out of my heart. Then where, bring out the scriptures that you're talking I can about. I'm gonna put it on my phone and get the scripture. Bring it out. You know, but I'm bring not it out. Get it. We're supposed to. We're supposed to be faith. The scriptures say contend for the faith. That's right. Do you know what contend means? You telling me that Jesus. Do you know what contend means? Do you know what contend means? Me. Jesus didn't pay at all, right? He didn't what? He didn't pay at all. No, he didn't play. You think we up in bling? You think we ain't got no, something better? No, he said pay it off. He said pay it off. Oh, we he ain't said pay it off. I didn't say play. Okay, well, it's kind of hard to understand what you're saying. Hey, right, First Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin with us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Right. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, yes. where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear, man? Yes. We're not saved yet, man. We not say, and the scriptures also tell you that those who call upon my name, the same shall be saved. What's his name? It's not Jesus, man. Jesus is the Greek title. Who you really called Jesus was King of the Jews. He was the Hebrew of Hebrews, man. There's no J in the Hebrew alphabet that never has been, and it still ain't to this day, man. There's no V in the Hebrew letter. So Jehovah is out the window, man. Right. You must know the name for salvation. I tell you that there's no name given to men under the heaven that would give you salvation. There's only one name, man. And you must know the name for salvation, man. So how you saved already? Right. But I understand, bro. You ate like, the scriptures, your spirit bear witness to what one thing we out here teaching, bro. That the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the children of God. We got a zeal of God, just not a common to knowledge, bro. And I ain't putting you down. That's just that's just what, what it is, is, man. I received y'all, I listen to y'all teaching, and I don't like y'all teaching. But get free from your anger, man. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Be angry and sin not. No, is no, that in the New Testament? No, 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 no. Is that in the New Testament? Your anger, brother. Your I bring it up. What the scripture just say? We gonna go with the scripture you gonna say, bro? I'm gonna bring this out in Rome. We gonna go with the scripture say, bro? Not what the heart say. Ten and one, brethren. Who are Paul's brethren? Right. Who are Paul's brethren, man? So-called Negroes, Latin, Israelites, man. Just to put it in layman's terms. Right. Go ahead, bro. My heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is... For Israel, not the whole world. For Israel is... That they might be saved. That they might be saved, man. So who's saved, man? So you just got to wash yourself with that, 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 that filth, man, from the church house, man. See, that cat was on a whole bunch of different doctors, man. But he ain't the only one. That's all people, man. What you got, bro? Speak up, bro. I can't hear you. All right. I'll say debate the word. The scriptures say debate the word. Okay, the scriptures say debate the word. So isn't it as a from, bro. That's I'm just saying, judge, judge, I'm saying, I'm saying, jogging from people. I know what you're saying, bro. I believe that same thing. Go ahead, bro. That's the okay, question, so, bro. Yeah, we're going off of everything that the scripture it doesn't say when Jesus spoke or when God spoke, he spoke to hell, right? So, like, most things that's in there is not going to say God's word, right? All of this is God's word, bro. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given 
driven by inspiration of God. Just some of them. All scriptures. Just one or two chapters. No, right. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Read that again. He didn't hear it all. He was talking. Wait till you listen. Listen, bro. Listen. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Put the last page there. The last page of what? If anything is going to be taken, to them, when they say yeah. if anything is going to be taken or removed from these scriptures, it's going to be added to, added to the, uh, the file here. That's right. That's right. What, man, what's been added and taken away? And a man, man preaches the Bible from his mind. That's right. And not interpreted right. I mean, interpreted wrong. Same as God. That's right. That's right. That's right. So your point is? I'm just asking you what. No, you. That's what you said is absolutely right. What you said is absolutely right. Now, have we not came out the scriptures with everything we just said? We go to a scripture. What, 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 now we we talking like men, bro. We talking like men. That's all. We talking like men. It's just not the norm for being to talk like men to men no more. Nowadays, these men talk to to men like little girls. Everybody got to be politically correct. Or you got to be sensitive towards other people's feelings. We up here, we men. We not no uh, Ponzi boys. We not the white man. Right. The white man want to sit there and patty cake and try to, you know, move well, smooth, you use know, smooth be words and, and be soft. subtile. Right. We real men. We not no little punk white boy. Let me, let me ask you something, bro. And I'm only saying that Bro, you ain't got to get no disclaimers, bro. So I'm, 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 you, I'm, I'm on the same. I wanted them bro. crackers to hear that. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm on the same. All right? I don't, I don't be honest with y'all. I don't care how y'all think. I don't care how y'all think. That's cool. All right? Religion. We're not in a religion, so go ahead. But we're not running a religion. Right. This is not a book of religion. There you go. So that makes you what? We are a, a nation of people. We are the Israelites, according to the Bible, the people of this Bible, who the Most High Son, His Son, fuck. We are them people. In the Bible, it says how many people will be? How many people are gonna make? Heaven? Initially, when the Lord come back, He got the 144,000. You read about Revelation in seventh chapter, and then you got the uh, the one third. Because two thirds of our people so gonna be cut off and die. According to the scripture. So let me ask you. That we all, you all, you all practice the law, right? To the best, to the best of our ability. To the best of y'all. Right. We in captivity. Like today, according to the scriptures, okay. today is the day of the day let of atonement, man. Let me ask you. So who are you supposed to love? Our brother, the brother, the ones that do the work, just like, just like who you ignorant call okay. Jesus said. Let me ask you. These are my brothers. When his, when his mother came out, he said, "These is my brother, let my sister, father. Those again. that do the work of his other father." Let me ask you again. God created us. What? 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 Get, 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 get to your point. I'm asking you, bro. You got the Bible in your hand. God created us. What? God created us. What? What you mean he created, he created us? He, he created, created us in us his all image. All he created us in Now, we're not all equal, bro. He created us all That's all what the word, the word holy means That's separate, bro. The scriptures tell you, the scriptures tell you that the we, that Israel is a special, peculiar people, special to him above all nations that are upon on, on the earth, bro. We're not all created equal. What's that scripture, bro? Now you if speaking out of your heart, bro. Equal. Now you speaking out of your heart, if bro. We're not all created equal. And this now, world holds how many billions of people? Bro. You speaking out of your heart, bro. No. You speaking out of your heart, no, bro. I, I speak from what I learned. Give me the scripture then. I speak from what Give I learned. Give me the scripture, bro. I'll call him back to the scripture. Me, bro. Hey man, I'm, you're jumping all over the place. Because we, it's more it's more than that scripture. The scripture no, say, no, it ain't it ain't yeah. more than these scriptures, bro. Okay. It ain't nothing more than this, bro. It's not a fact, but what else is? Hey man, see. Where's the book of Enoch in there? Bro. If there's not the more You don't book, even understand this book. book. Why would you even want to deal with the book don't, of Enoch? You don't know me. Let, let me ask you something, okay. bro. You don't know what I understand. All right. What's your nationality? You don't know what I understand. What's your nationality according to the Bible? I'm a child of God. That, that you just answered my question. I'm a child of God. That's not a nationality, That's man. A child. I am a child of God. That's, That's not, not a nationality. nationality. That's fine. Right. You can think whatever you want, but that's not a nationality. Hey, no, and let me just say this. This is for the edification of the camera. 
When it comes to nationality, you know what else it is? It don't, it don't matter, matter what, what you see, bro. It don't matter what you see. It don't matter. You don't know your nationality, you bro. Know. You don't know your first nationality. Off, my grandfather's Italian. My other grandfather's Indian. It only go by one of them. It go by your 